Turns up for a CV. My name is Jack, and welcome to my review for the Nottingham Forest versus Huddersfield Town game. Um, yeah, frustrating one, really, really frustrating one. I think we had 23 shots with only six on target, which you know it's not great. With we, we, we're showing that we need a um, a quick striker to get in behind. Um, you know, we had um, Graben and Taylor on at the end of the game and they're both holding up the ball well, but they didn't really have anyone running beyond. Do you know what I mean? Nobody sort of getting in behind and um, making a difference, uh, making sort of that run to try and break past the defence. You know, once they got the goal, I mean, it was extremely frustrating and fair play to them. They wasted every second they could. Their goalkeeper took... You know, six, seven business days on every single goal kick, free kick, everything. Um, the referee, again, didn't have a handle on the game. He really didn't, um, show any sort of authority. You know, the man, the, sorry, the referee in the Middlesbrough game booked Samba fairly early on. Um, and he wasn't even really time wasting. He was just trying to get his players in position. Whereas, you know, Nichols last night for Huddersfield was 100% time wasting. There was no doubt about that. Um, to be honest with you there. Um, but yeah, frustrating one. I think we made some decent chances. There was one where Johnson at the back post should have scored but put it into the side netting. A few shots from range. Um, but like I say, sorry, we need, we need that player to be able to get in behind. We'd have to try and play in front of their defence the whole time, holding up and playing little tippy-tappy passes and trying to get it in the box. We could do with someone who's able to get beyond the defence, make that run to try and get past them. And hopefully it's something that we're able to um, address in, in the January transfer window. Um, reports do suggest that that was Spence's last game for us um, at least until the end of the season unless um, you know things change and we are able to get him back um, <coughs> pardon me I think it's to do with a, um, a Covid outbreak in the Millsborough camp and the need Spence to uh, fill in for players who have been um, infected with Covid so it's a real shame because you know he has shown some fantastic spells at the club last night I think he was okay wasn't his best performance, um, wasn't his worst, I think. Um, got well, um, got a high up on that right hand side and got some balls into the box, linked up well. Um, but again, there was no one really making that run to try and get in behind to, to get on the end of it. Um, like I say, we definitely need to address that in, in the transfer window. Um, but yeah, again, another, I don't want to dwell on the referees too much, but another poor referee decision that goes against us. In the championship, I don't know why it's always the referees that are against us, um, and always sort of supporting the team we're against. It's very frustrating, and it's something that um, you know maybe if the referee had a bit more of a handle on the game, was able to stamp his authority from early, um, then it could have been a different result potentially. Um, but again, hit the referee decisions wouldn't really change anything in regards to how we could finish chances or how we're able to um, um, perform in front of in front of goal like that um, you know I think question marks over Samba's positioning for their goal to be honest with you I think at the near post there he should have been a bit tied to his post I think if he was marking his post properly they wouldn't have scored from that situation um, you know I saw a still image of, of the shot going in and Samba was one to two you know paces away from where he should have been potentially um, and you know left that gap between him and the near post for Holmes to score through um, so yeah that was a bit disappointing but I think other than that it wasn't too bad um, you know but I think fans can be a little bit too reactionary and, and I think Forest fans definitely you see on Twitter after a loss Fans are saying so and so should never play for us again. Um, this player should be dropped. That player should be dropped. You know, if we don't beat Barnsley, some people might even be saying Cooper out. You know, stupid things like that. But you know, I was at the game last night, and there were fans around me who were just like just moaning at everything, and it was really grating because, like, you know. Sometimes you can't always attack and you have to sort of pass it around the back, try and change the direction of the play, set up a different phase of play in terms of maybe going backwards instead of forwards. Maybe there's not a option going forwards or whatever like that. But people are just moaning all the time and, and there was, uh, you know, a bloke behind me was on Samba's back every five minutes. Every time he got the ball, he was moaning about him. You know, he made a fantastic shot, um, from a long range effort and he said he was lucky. You know, I, 
I don't know. It, it doesn't really make much sense, but I think, um, yeah. It wasn't as bad as some people are making out, and it wasn't as bad as maybe it looked. I think we um, created chances, just couldn't convert them, which was a real um, frustration, uh, or frustrating um, thing to see, should I say. Um, if I had to give a man of the match, they gave it to James Garner. He was good in the middle of the park, created chances. Um, I think it might have been... Um, no, it wasn't. It was Zandi Silva who hit the crossbar. Um, you know, he, he had some good shots from range and, and played some good balls. But for me, I think Zandi Silva was a real shining light in that performance. You know, I think um, he caused problems for their full back. Obviously, took that shot I referred to where he cannoned it off the crossbar, and he really looked good. Um, you know, he, there was a lot of. Um, question marks over bringing him in. His goal scoring record wasn't great. He um, played against Middlesbrough in, in Cooper's last game and wasn't very good in that one. And we haven't really seen much about him since then. Um, and then due to sort of injuries and, and things like that, Myton being out and one thing and another, he was given a chance, came off the bench against Middlesbrough, looked okay, started last night and he was really, you know, he was one of the better players for us. Um, really lively down that um, left-hand side, forward was right-hand side, switching over um, every now and again depending on what was sort of um, the instructions were, I suppose. But yeah, he looked pretty good, to be honest with you. He was causing problems, he was getting... Um, one-on-one -on -one with the defenders, trying to get balls in, shots away. Um, he looked really good, and, and I'm quite pleased for him, to be honest, because it's always good to see sort of a player who's maybe been written off a little bit by fans, maybe. Um, they've kind of questioned why he's at the club, or um, questioned him being on the team sheet. But no, I think he was really good, and, and put in a really good performance, and um, you know he can be a, a real positive to take from that game. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if he does start against Barnsley. There were rumours... Um, that he had confirmed a loan. Might have been back to the team he was at before Forrest. Um, you know, if that's true, then obviously he's going to have to, um, he's going to have to, um, obey that and, and, and go to them. But, um, yeah, I think, uh, if we can keep hold of him and, and give him another chance and keep putting faith in him, they obviously he's impressed Cooper. Um, so it'll be interesting to see whether he can get more time, more game time and we might be able to see some, um, goals from him, some assists from him. Another player who, who looks like he's impressed Cooper of late is Carvalho. Came off the bench and, um, had a good spell towards the end. He didn't have too much time on the pitch, but, um, Looked like he could pick out a pass and um, try to link up well with the likes of Spence down the right hand side, Johnson, you know. Um, but yeah, I think if we'd have played last night with a quick strike of getting behind, it could have been a different result. Ultimately, we couldn't do that and um, we did drop um, three points again. Um, first time we have lost two on the bounce under Steve Cooper so it'll be interesting to see how um, we recover from that I think Barnsley should be a, um, a comfortable win that one I think we will get all three points they are um, not on points obviously with Derby deduction and stuff they are the worst team in the league so if we can't beat them then something is um, a little bit worrying um, around the club but I think we'll do it I think we'll get all three points in that one I'll do my preview obviously and you'll see that one on the channel um, for that one but um, we should win that one um, comfortably for me um, but yeah, uh, disappointing, frustrating results, um, and the performance could have been better, um, but again, could have been worse um, entirely. So yeah, uh, like I say, it's not something to worry about too much if we can get back on track, um, which I do believe we can do, and I should think we will be um, able to do that. But um, yeah, we need to definitely win against Barnsley, and um, hopefully that this um, two losses doesn't turn into three or um, start a, a poor run of form. So yeah, if you did enjoy, smash the like button, subscribe if you are new round here. Hope you uh, have a very happy new year, and um, hopefully it can be 2022 um, when Forest finally get back to where we belong. But we'll have to wait and see. So yeah, thank you for watching. Come on, you Reds.